Papua New Guinea has over 2 million Catholics and about 300,000 in the Solomon Islands. The church is indeed one of the largest institutions in the world with 1.2 billion followers. Catholics here did have the privilege to meet Pope John Paul twice as Pope and once as Cardinal. Pope John Paul died as Pope. That was the tradition in the last 600 years. What has shocked Catholics worldwide now is the decision by Pope John Paul's successor, Pope Benedict XVI, to resign. Catholics in PNG and the Solomon Islands are also in disbelief. And uh, we were uh, shocked at the news, uh, Pope announcing that he's going to step down on the 28th of February. And uh, that is surely not only shocking news for the Catholics uh, and the bishops here of Papua New Guinea and Solomon Islands, but also throughout the world. In his seven years of leadership, Pope Benedict held several issues at heart. His strong advice to Papua New Guinea and the Solomon Islands was an encouragement to build the family unit. And the bishops went and met him in Rome last year, in June. He mentioned the family life. So he said, you enrich the family life, help the people of Papua New Guinea and Solomon Islands to be faithful in their family life, in their vocation of being father, mother, husband and wife, and the proper and faithful children. So he really encouraged them for the family life in this country. The Prime Minister Peter O'Neill conveyed best wishes for the health of the Pope. O'Neill acknowledged the Church's contributions in health and education in Papua New Guinea. Michelle Amba, National MTV News.